Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are, back to Splatoon. We're gonna be going into level 4 now. Gusher Gauntlet. Let's go ahead and begin. We have a yellow ink this time. And we have little gushers that can actually take us all different places. Make sure we just kill all those guys first, because like I said, they could actually do some pretty good damage to you. Already a checkpoint already. Alright, fair enough. Oh, alright. That didn't work. I forgot how, no I forgot how uh, interesting these guys are to work with. I always take them for granted sometimes. Oh, well, that's my own fault, really. All right, just one more. And done. All right, perfect. Sure, I kind of uh, died there a bit, but uh, whatever. Now these, you gotta wait till they land and then they actually hit their back spot. Quite simple, really. They're kind of like a uh, smaller version of that one thing we saw. Very easy. We what? Where? No, what? Where? Alright, that was my own fault. And they're called Octo Stamp instead of Octo Stomp, like the actual boss name. So that's interesting. We. Alright, so as again with uh, less death. The key is to actually not try to aim at them because they have those shields up to actually hit those specifically there. And now we can go alongside the mainstream and have some good fun. Yay! Alright. And there we go, perfect. Yeah, I want to be careful with those because when they're in groups like that, it could be hard. I think what you're supposed to do is actually kind of like uh, shoot these as they get near it. But honestly, it's probably just better to just actually aim at them. Probably a lot simpler. And now we're at the final checkpoint now. Ooh. Let's go to the left first before we do anything here. Go to the left again. Whoops, wait, where? Oh. I forgot, this is the point of the game where I need to stop actually just holding down the squid button the entire time. Kill him, and then you'll see this box. And there we have our sunken sea scroll, or sunken scroll, whatever, whatever it is. Now let's go over to the right first. We. There's nothing up there but some nice little orbs for us. Orbs are always nice to have. And of course, be careful because there are gradients here. If you fall into gradients, you're pretty much going to die. So, so pretty much you can't just hide and run wherever you want to. You have to be a bit more careful in that. At the very end, there's our little zapfish here for us. Alright. Now let's see what story we get here. The scroll was found in a deep rock layer. Its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of the time. It seems the basic 4 versus 4 battle format had already been established at this stage. Hmm. Alright, let's go ahead over to, let's see which one's 5. This one's 5, there we go. Floating Sponge Garden. Let's begin. Just adding more to the Spongebob jokes here. We have a blue ink this time. I always like the blue. These, the gimmick here is that you can actually make these sponges grow. Just by shooting them. And that's the whole gimmick that's going to play out for us this stage.
Ah. Once again, that was my own fault. Whatever. I get a little too anxious, and that causes my death. You know, I think this is a good time to actually show off grenades here. Let's see here. I haven't actually played this game for a while, like I said. So you can actually just shoot them, hide, and actually shoot them. Perfect. It's a very simple way of doing things. Close. Aye, well done, quite. Very, very good job. And then we launch ourselves through here. Give me all these little orbs you got here. Alright. You die, and you also die. And that's the better thing there. If you actually, if the enemies actually shoot them, they will shrink. Either way, just try to make sure you make a lot. Oh, you can't. That's right. You can't actually. Uh, you can't. There are certain gratings where you can't actually splat paint on. This is one of those gratings. Will not work. Now this spot right here, you want to. You'll see those two enemy gunners right up there. You want to actually have them aim at the sponge here. Hey. Yep. And he's fallen into the grating here. And that's where we have a sunken scroll there. And then we can just beat this level as normal. Die and die. And then you move up and continue. Let's see. Gotcha. Perfect. I almost have 500 now, so I can almost upgrade my uh my fate of fire. It's always a nice thing. Die. 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 Come on. You're right there. You could die, and one last hit. Ta-da! And now we could actually go on forward. <laughs> level two is complete. Actually, I was level five, actually. Close enough. Close enough to the main point I was trying to get across here. The terrifying biology of the inkling. Strength can lead up to five feet. Brain, simple and predatory. Bones, none. Eyes can spot prey from 100 yards away. Defense, high pressure, high capacity ink sac. All right, so now we're heading over to six. Let's see here, there we are. Propeller lift playground, let's begin. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll kill all of you before I actually head down here. Are all of them dead? I think all of them are dead. Alright. Good. I don't want to have any mishaps here on the way up. Nope. Thankfully they get stuck in your ink. Just like you would get stuck in their ink. And had that been the case there. Now here you'll see a platform there that can actually lift up. Which you actually spray it. So, we... Of course, you can only reach a certain. You can only reach a certain length. Let's see. Now, in this case here, you have to actually shoot these, and at the same time, shoot them. Come on. 
So you actually shoot way above and hit him from up top, this way. Ah. Uh, fine, I'll get on this one over here. Whoops. Fine, I'll get on this one. I can still reach him that way. Perfect. All you have to do, quite simple. Let me use another checkpoint. Once again. You know what? Whoops. Also another thing, those grenades use up a lot of ink. So that's the thing there. I could have just shot them when they were stuck in my ink. But whatever, no problem. Still got them. That's all that matters. Alright, now you'll see this. I'm going to launch this up a bit more. Fall underneath. We got our sunken scroll right there. Just make sure you actually get that before you actually make this go all the way up. I want to grab these. Yeah, that's right, I can just do this at that point. Doesn't go up any higher. That's right. Now these will pretty much just launch you across. All right, perfect. Oh, hold on. I don't want to go this far yet. And you're dead. Just need to be very, very careful and very quiet. Now these blocks actually move up and down this way. So the key is to actually get them close enough down and then get to the top of them. Yeah, the enemy places starts getting a bit more difficult here and a bit more harder to manage at a certain point. So you have to be quick. You have to be. You have to do it quite right. We and we should be near the end. Yep, there it is. We. Whispers on the wind. The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in the availability of electric power are likely to occur in the near future. With the underground domes also de deteriorating rapidly, the future does not look bright. Hmm. Alright, so let's go ahead and upgrade our, uh, our gear here. I'm, of course, going to upgrade this. Now, let me, let me show this first beforehand. This is my rate of fire now. And of course, each time you upgrade it, it actually requires more and more pearls. And now look at it, it fires much faster now. Very nice. No, I didn't want to go back in. Thankfully, you can just do that. And where am I? Ah, uh, all, the, all the actual ink is gone now. That's a shame. No problem. Now, let's see. Stage, we're seven. There's seven. Alright, so with that, I think I'm actually going to end off this episode. So next time, Splatoon, we'll actually be doing stages seven, eight, and then the boss. And then and then actually cleaning up the next area, getting ready to go into there. So I will see you guys next time.